shaping up to be busier and more expensive than the last. President Joe Biden just making an announcement this morning saying the Department of Energy will release 50 million barrels of oil from the Strategic Petroleum Preserve to help lower gas prices at the pump for Americans. Our political correspondent Joe St. George is live for us in Washington, D.C. Joe, top of mind right now, if this release happens right now, is that going to make a big impact at the pump as people travel for Thanksgiving? Well, you know, to, to some degree, we've never seen this before. Uh, this is a, a bit of unprecedented charter territory when it comes to the U.S. going into our reserve, which is in caverns uh, in Louisiana and Texas. We have about 600 million barrels uh, in the event of an emergency. Usually a hurricane would qualify uh, for such an emergency. But in this case, uh, the White House this morning making clear that they believe that the price of gas, which is averaging around $3.40 nationwide, Michigan may be a smidge lower than that, but right around the average in, in western Michigan that people are feeling. We just don't know how quickly and how much 50 million barrels is going to make an impact. And also remember, this announcement is also including some other countries as well. So the White House was able to convince some Asian partners, uh, South Korea being one of them, Japan to go into their reserves as well and release some into the global supply. Now, in theory, that will reduce the price of gasoline. It is a supply and demand issue always. This will increase the supply. Therefore, it should lower the price of gas. That's basic economic. Economics. But what's unclear is whether or not there, this will be temporary or how long. A lot of analysts have said because the president is going in to this reserve, but no major changes are happening in, across the globe in terms of producing more oil. This may only be something that, that is a, a short-term fix, if you will. And we also don't know this morning how oil-enriched countries, places like Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Russia, countries that are used to controlling the price of gasoline to some degree based on their production, are they going to respond? to this news from the White House today. Are they going to react as a direct result of what the White House is doing? So uh, to some degree, we're in wait and see mode. Basic economics says it should provide some relief, but for how long? We shall see what 50 million barrels gets us. All right. And Joe, for those who are flying to their destinations mm -hmm. this holiday, you know, the requirements for the TSA to be fully vaccinated, in effect, our local airport said it's not going to impact us here. But what about some of the bigger airports? Is that going to impact travelers heading for Thanksgiving? Well, anyone who's ever traveled over Thanksgiving knows uh, that Thanksgiving holiday travel can, sometime, can sometimes bring headaches. This year has been a particular question mark because of the airline industry, the airport industry still recovering from the pandemic. And a big question mark heading into this week was, what about these federal vaccine mandates for workers? Were TSA agents going to be reporting for work? Within the last 24 hours, the TSA has said they do not anticipate any major uh, interruptions as a direct result of any of these mandates. They report 93% of their workforce being in compliance with the new vaccine law. So they don't anticipate the impact there. That being said, and I know it's cliche in TV news to say pack your patients when you go to the airport over the Thanksgiving holiday, but you're still going to want to give yourself uh, plenty of time uh, to deal with the unknowns that may pop up uh, at airports across the country this holiday. Mm. Top of mind, Joe, uh, for many Americans this morning on those gas prices and holiday travel. We appreciate your time as always. Thank you.